everyone. Hope you're doing super awesome today. Um, this is a video of my hands. Um, because I'm a face painter as well, and I just painted my face uh, for some practice, so we're just going to do some hands today. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a personal project I'm working on, and uh, this is a zine I want to make for my mom for Christmas. Um, she likes having tea parties and things like that, so I want to make a ladies guide to afternoon tea zine. So I'm not quite done with it. Um, I've given myself to the end of November to get this done so I can make it pretty for her and all kinds of good stuff. But I wanted to talk to you guys about just making like your own little embellishments for a zine. I think what I personally really like about zines is that they kind of have this really cool like cutout look and glued look and all that kind of stuff. So these are some things I made. Um, they're super simple and, you know, I'm just learning, well, I'm, you know, learning the fineries of art and all that kind of good stuff. But so these are just some really little doodles that I did. This is actually a little shrinky dink cup, but I thought it would make like a cool, um, you know, kind of like glued and 3D effect on the paper and then when it's copied to kind of have that standing out. And here I just made a little tea kettle and then I took these little flowers I found at a thrift store and I'm pretty sure these things are like a hundred years old but they work and they kind of add like a little interesting embellishment to the tea kettle. And I just made some little cutie cups, tea cups, and then a stack of cups. But they're really simple and easy to make and I just took a piece of scrapbook paper, um, drew them on, shaded them, and all that kind of good stuff. So here's a piece I made. I'm going to use this on the rural area. I wanted to create a character that kind of walks through the book. So this is Ms. Pedigree um, and she's giving a rule right here. So I'm going to kind of cut this off and I was debating whether or not to kind of add like the rest of the body, but I kind of like the floating head look like, you know, she's yelling in your ear, this rule. So I am going to keep that like this and kind of cut it off and then I'm going to put it down onto a page. I did draw this one. I don't think I like it though. Um, I didn't finish it. I didn't color it in. And when I color... I use, um, and even on all of these, these are all watercolor pencils, and they're super cheap, guys. I don't have, you know, super expensive art equipment. I kind of just use what I can get and afford. But these are the best things. Um, not these in particular, but, like, watercolor pencils. I'm just like, where have these been all my life? So I just color with them and then use a little bit of water on a Q-tip and kind of move it all around and then it kind of really creates that you know blended effect and then I love shading so I do a lot of shading so this one I don't know I don't think I'm going to use it uh, this one I just got done today so I really wanted a layered look so I'm actually going to show you how I made her um, she's cut out and this is a the paper and the size of the book so I'm going to glue her down here eventually and kind of put like a little quote about tea here for one of my pages that I'm working on. Oh, I forgot a cute cupcake. I love cute cupcakes. So um, I when I started her, I was filming and how, you know, I was drawing, but I got really nervous drawing on camera. So I ended up just taking pictures. So I'm going to walk you through picture style with a little voiceover on how I made her if you're interested. So, here we go. So step one, I sketched out the drawing and I did start this with camera, but then I got super nervous. Also, I am continually learning, so please don't judge. And I really wanted a stylized tea drinking figure. So this is what I came up with. Step two, I then cut her out. Uh, my goal with this was to kind of create a layered effect. So I'm basically going to cut her apart and put her back together. I 
then picked out some cool scrapbooking paper that I thought would look kind of cool together. And there was some glitter in this that kind of make it hard to shade, but you know, it's all right. I just went with it. Once I started to cut her apart, I then traced her dress part onto the paper I wanted for her dress. And here's the start of that. And then here's how it looks on the paper. And all the pieces of the hat ready to cut out. And finally all the pieces ready to glue. I glued all the pieces down together on a white cardstock piece of paper. I just wanted them to have a firmer backing. So I chose this option and then my goal was at the end to cut her completely out of this and then just to have a firmer piece of paper. I then came in with ink, added back in some of the lines that were cut out on the solid pieces. I then came through with the watercolor pencils, added just a little bit of like shade to her skin and then came in with a uh, shading pencil and kind of smudged that around just to add a little bit more dimension. And then I glued her down completely on that white cardstock and I'm ready to cut her out. And here she is all finished, cut out. She's ready to be glued down on her page in my zine. And I got to think of a good quote to put with her, but all in all, I'm really happy how she turned out and I think I'll make some more. So, like, here's the start of my zine. I decided to go with a four fold that will basically open like this. I got some of it done. Um, and I've also decided to go with four pages. I'm sorry, well, four folded pages that will give me then 16 pages total. So here's my little history page. But then how I folded it was I'm going to have a pocket up top here that I'm going to put in like, you know, scone recipes or something like that. So um, 16 pages I'm finding is actually a lot. And my whole goal is to actually finish things before starting too many projects. So my goal is to get that done here by the end of the month. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on it. Um, as for these little guys, if you want to reuse them multiple times, if you think you're going to make projects that you'll reuse them, um, you can simply glue them down to a white piece of paper. And then what you can do is if you want to keep with like a zine type fashion, you can take them into your local copier and get them copied a whole bunch of times and then you have them to cut out and use over and over again. You can also scan them in on the white paper here and then that will give you digital files as well. So this is what I have so far. Like I said, it's my little personal project. I'm excited to get done for my mom for Christmas. So I hope this helped or at least gave you ideas I really liked how she turned out. I think I'm going to make some more in that style. But uh, as soon as I get my zine done, I'll make sure to share with you. And please let me know maybe what zines you're working on, your personal projects, and anything else you have going on. I would love to know. So have a great day, and I'll see you later. Please comment, like, subscribe, and totally up for collabs with you guys. And just thanks again. Bye-bye.